I would like to thank everyone here who joined us today, and we hope and pray that our bond of friendship, which is based on mutual respect and understanding, will continue to flourish and prosper in years to come. Now, I would also like to read out the message from the President of Ireland, and she has very kindly sent this message for this occasion. The message re reads out, it gives me great pleasure to send my warmest greetings to the Supreme Spiritual Head, Khalifat al Masih the Fifth, His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, as he begins his visit to Ireland. This is an important visit for the members of MDA community in Ireland. One of the highlights will be the foundation stone ceremony of the Maryam Mosque in Galway. And I take this opportunity to send my best wishes to all involved in this project, the first mosque to be built in Galway. The motto of the MDA Muslim Association, love for all, hatred for none, is a powerful appeal for understanding and respect. I hope this visit and the construction of a new mosque and cultural center will provide valuable opportunities to promote tolerance and education in a multicultural island. I wish all involved a very successful and most enjoyable visit. Mary McLeese, President of Ireland. Our first guest speaker for tonight's meeting is His Worshipful Mayor of Galway City, Councillor Michael J. Crow. He belongs to Fianna Fáil Party, and he's an elected mayor since June 2009. I'll request him to come and say a few words. Your Holiness, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honour and pleasure for me to be here with you on this auspicious occasion this evening. We are honoured to have His Holiness, the Supreme Head and Spiritual Leader of the worldwide Amadilla community, Muslim community in our city, on his very first visit to Ireland. I know that a spirit of sharing, of charity and of tolerance and compassion guides you in all aspects of your lives. The core values of your community, love for all, hatred for none, are values which we can share. At the core of this spirit is the spirit of generosity and charity. If I could be so bold as to quote a verse of the Holy Quran about neighbours, be good to the neighbour belonging to your people and the alien neighbour. On my own behalf, but much more importantly, on behalf of the people of Galway, may I wish the, the members of the Galway Islamic community congratulations on this historic momentum moment for all of our city. Gurmili Magath. Our next speaker is most respected and honorable Mr. Eamon O'Keefe, TD and Minister for Galway West. Eamon O'Keefe is a grandson of Eamon de Valera. He served as minister in different portfolios and currently, currently appointed as Minister for Social Protection. I request him to come and address the audience, please. Your Holiness, honoured guests, Karim Kaid Mila Falche, Rivonneofort, and of course Kagaila. It's a great honour to be here with the Supreme Head of the Worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim Community at this civic reception in Galway, which honours the foundation stone being put in place for the Mariam Mosque. And I had the great privilege earlier this summer of being a guest of the community here on a very, very exceptional evening. And this, of course, is a landmark day in every sense for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Association of Ireland. And I have no doubt that this new building will be a holy place dedicated to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community's worshippers. This occasion is a good opportunity to build bridges of friendship based on mutual respect, understanding of cultures, and to work together for common values. I have no doubt that the mosque will help foster interfaith relations between people from different faiths, background, 
ethnicities living alongside in our society. I wish the Ahmadiyya Muslim community every success with this new historical initiative, and I am very pleased that it is taking place here in the city of Galway. Guyam Khalara at a Baba Muslim Ahmadiyya in aiding, I guess Guyam Khalara at Shantogra, Stairul, or Tabon, Gurmilamangui. Our next speaker is most respectful Mr. Michael D. Higgins, who is a Labour Party president and party spokesperson on foreign affairs. He is a close friend of our community and having attended many of our events over the years and came to know many members of the community in Ireland and Galway. He serves on multiple occasions in Dolliran. He has a political career which spans over a decade and difficult to encompass in few words. Michael D. Higgin has campaigned for human rights and in recognition of his work for peace with justice in many parts of the world, he became the first recipient of Sean McBride Peace Prize of International Peace Bureau in Helensky in 1992. I request him to come and please address the audience. Queenie uh, Kaur. A quid she fear can all his sarum glock a lishin quidishok, chiak, dug a scoopla fuckle or all, and an occoid tovok dug shah. Mr. Mayor, fellow guests, and distinguished members of the Ahmadiyya community, it is a great pleasure to accept again an invitation to come and to say a few words, and particularly on an occasion like this, which is in celebration of a very significant moment in the development of the facilities that are available to people of your faith. I think that so many people from different parts of the community in the west of Ireland are gathered here in this room is in itself a moment for great celebration. That such recognition of diversity and particularly that people would come and accept an invitation uh, to celebrate the achievement of a community that is committed to peace and tolerance and to a universality based on diversity and respect for indigenous, indigenous wisdom, tradition, is a, in itself a moment for celebration for us all. I think that in the world in which we now face, which requires all of our efforts, it requires both our belief systems and our rational reason systems and scientific achievements to deal with climate change, to deal with world poverty, to deal with the abuse of human rights, requires that kind of openness and that kind, those kind of values uh, that are stressed always by the Amadea community when we meet them. Erich, which is more privileged from the other end of the world, is the Amadea, and the Erich is not the only one who is 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 the only one. Our next speaker is most respectful and honorable Mr. Frank Feehan, who is a Fine Gael Party spokesman on community equality and Gaelic affairs. He was first elected to Dáil Éireann in 2007. He was elected to Shannon Éireann in 2002. He was Fine Gael spokesperson on art, sports, and tourism in Upper House. I request him to come and say a few words to the audience. Uh, Your Holiness, uh, M Mr. Mayor, uh, pre uh, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to join you here tonight at the foundation ceremony of the Mariam Mosque. To Anarha Saram, Veher Shahi Galav, Anukt, I'm delighted to be here in Galway to join with you in the celebration of the first purpose built mosque in Galway. I'm sure this is a really momentous occasion for the Muslim community particularly as His Holiness uh, was able to visit Galway, especially for the occasion. It is doubtly hugely important for the 3,000 members of the Muslim community in the Galway and in the region to have an appropriate place of worship. But I was also very, very pleased on meeting Imin Noonan's uh, a couple of months ago description of the mosque as a broader symbol of peace, combining elements of Islam with Irish features. It is very uplifting to hear that you intend to use the mosque 
not only as a place of worship, but also as a building used to, used to forge community relationships and provide the surrounding community with a venue for gatherings, meetings and events. It is also a valuable opportunity for a religious organisation to embrace the wider community and bring a wider sense of unity and connection between, between people residing in the area. I am delighted to hear that alongside the construction of a place of worship, you have the development of relationships in mind in building this mosque. And I, on behalf of Fine Gael, wish you every success uh, with your mission. Congratulations on this important occasion and with bring, bringing the mosque to completion. Gunairi and Talib, I wish you every success. Our next speaker is Mr. Jonathan O'Mani, Assistant Commissioner of Garda Shikona, West of Ireland. I request him to come and say a few words to the audience, please. Your Holiness, uh, Lord Mayor of Galway, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commissioner of Angarda Shikana and on my own behalf as Assistant Garda Commissioner for the Western Region, I want to take this opportunity to welcome His Holiness to the West of Ireland and to Galway. <clears throat> I also want to extend my best wishes to the Amadea Muslim community in Galway and in the West of Ireland as a whole. I hope that in the future, the community will prosper in their new mosque and that they will contribute to the richness of our community and indeed to that of wider society. When looking at the background and the history of the Amadea uh, community, I see a number of common factors between it and Ungarda Shikana. Our commitment to community policing is mirrored in the Amadea's enthusiastic commitment to community and community cohesion. As a religion, you have an avowed code of peace where you espouse love and peace and reject hatred. So similarly, on Garda Shikana strives, strives for this ethos and indeed when translated from the Gaelic, Gaelic the term Garda Shikana means guardian of the peace. I have been impressed by the community's constant con condemnation of violence in the strongest possible terms, the manner in which you have embraced all communities and how you have developed a spirit of allegiance to the country in which you reside. On Garda Shikana looks forward to liaising and working closely with you in the future and for many years to come. Thank you. Our next speaker is Most Reverend His Excellency Dr. Martin Drennan, Bishop of Galway. Dr. Drennan was born in Piltown, County Kilkenny, Ireland. He ordained a priest in 1968 for the Diocese of Ossory. He was spiritual director at Pontifical Irish College, Rome from 1980 to 85. In 1997, he was appointed Auxiliary Bishop of Dublin and titular Bishop of Ikurugi. Since 2005, he was appointed as a Bishop of Galway and Kalmadga, Ireland. I request him to come and say a few words to the audience, please. Your Holiness, our distinguished guests, my first joyful task really is to welcome to Ireland those who come from foreign shores and say that we are enriched by your presence in our midst. And we look forward to gaining from that cultural influence you'll have in our society. Christians and Muslims both aspire to peace, a peace based on to tolerance and understanding. And if our gathering here this evening launches us together on that road to tolerance and peace, then we have a precious gift to offer to our world, a world where peace has become very fragile where tolerance seems to be in decline. I'm therefore delighted and honoured to be part of a process that has the potential to be really significant for building bridges of peace in our world and our country. And I believe that every friendship is a building block of peace in our society. May we, as different communities, 